Good morning, everyone. I would like to thank USDA for, for holding this listing session in Missouri. My name is Rhonda Perry, and I'm a livestock and grain farmer in Howard County. Um, well, I have an 80 head cow calf operation, and I'm also representing the Missouri Rural Crisis Center and 5,600 member families here in the state. Um, Missouri Rural Crisis Center opposes NEIS and urges you to reject this irrelevant and unnecessary regulatory scheme. NEIS appears to be a solution in search of a problem. It's a false solution that unfortunately creates major problems for independent family farmers and does not do anything to improve food safety or animal health. If USDA is really sincere in its attempts to protect livestock producers, consumers, and animal health, then you would look at where the demonstrated problems have actually happened. We've seen millions of pounds of meat being recalled from the processing plants. That wasn't the fault of independent producers. We've seen USDA to continue to allow imports into this country from other countries with known disease problems. That also is not the fault of independent family farmers. We see industrial livestock operations all over this country that have created incredible environmental health and food safety concerns. That is not the fault of independent family farmers. If USDA really has a legitimate intention, which we believe that you do, in addressing these concerns, then we have some proposals that you should do. Um, we really believe that USDA has got to address the issue of competition. We can talk about the industry and how we're going to compete in this global market, but we can't compete unless there is real competition in the livestock markets. That's a role for USDA and one that you could play right now today, and we hope that you will do so. We also think we, we need to have real inspections and USDA oversight at slaughter plants. We have had a major breakdown. And by the way, it, it's ridiculous that we are having a conversation about tracing the livestock from the packing plant back to the producer when the problems are happening at the processing plant and we can't even trace from the processing plant to the consumer where our meat goes. We've got to stop the import of livestock from countries that have known health diseases. We have got to regulate the industrial livestock operations that are creating havoc in rural communities. And for God's sake, we have got to stop, or USDA actually, has got to stop subsidizing these bad actors with millions of dollars in conservation money and taxpayer backed up loans. And finally, we really believe we need to put our resources into maintaining and supporting the disease control programs that have worked. We heard earlier, we heard earlier that, that these disease control programs that we have had may not be up to snuff for the current situations we have. But those are the programs that have a proven effectiveness. Those are the programs that we need to support, maintain, and improve if necessary, instead of looking at this um, unproven, ineffective, anti-farmer, corporate-driven program of NAIS. Now, I do, I, again, want to thank USDA because I think, as you will see here today, there will be hundreds of farmers, all of whom really um, have a sense that it matters what we say to USDA. And this is an opportunity for us to let you know what we think about this program, and it's also an opportunity for you, to USDA, to let us know that you are listening because we really believe that the only way a program like this could get implemented is if there is a serious lack of understanding or ignorance on the part of some officials within this administration. And that's okay, because ignorance can be overcome by hearing the truth. But if this becomes an all-out corporate sellout to industrial agriculture, that will just be forever wrong. So thank you again for the opportunity to be here today.